Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga with the Miami Valley Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Well, today here in the Miami Valley, for the most part, it was a great day to get outside. Temperatures were pretty seasonable, getting up into the mid 80s, right around 83 degrees so far at the Dayton International Airport. We did have some storms move on through as we went through the afternoon hours, and we still do have a few that are ongoing here in the Miami Valley, but nothing too bad. They uh, moved through and then for the most part, staying dry in those areas since. You can see at the Dayton International Airport, just over a tenth of an inch of precipitation, 83 and 60 for the high and low. Precip chances going through the next 12 hours as the sun starts to go down. So will those chances of storms here. We'll have uh, a couple more hours, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine o'clock. That's when they really start to come to uh, come to an end here going into the evening hours. We're looking to stay dry through the rest of the nighttime. Highs on your Saturday. Not everyone getting to the 90s, but uh, the further south you go, the better chance you do. 91 in Dayton, 92 in Oxford up to the north. There are those 80s, 88 and 89 degrees. Maybe we'll make a run at those 90s in some of those places with the uh, upper 80s tomorrow. Looking at your planner going through the daytime, we'll have a few clouds at times, but for the most part, staying sunny going through the day. And in the afternoon, we'll hit those 90s getting into the middle of the afternoon hours. Live Doppler 2 HD, you see Logan County, Green County, Clinton County, even up there in Auglaize County as well, seeing some showers and storms. You can see in eastern Montgomery County, one starting to pop on up here as we head into the four o'clock hour. But for the most part, everyone is staying dry or the majority of people are staying dry here as we go through the four o'clock hour. And as zooming on out, high pressure is dominating the region. We'll see those temperatures uh, get into the 90s here pretty shortly as we go into the weekend and look to stay there for uh, a few days or so. Future track as we go through the nighttime, you can see those chances of storms coming to an end by around nine o'clock at the latest. And then as we go through the rest of the night, staying dry, we'll have on and off cloud cover, mostly clear to partly cloudy. And as we go through the daytime tomorrow, it looks like those storms will fire off east of the Miami Valley. So staying dry going through your daytime, it's going to get to the 90s and also be a bit humid out there. So just make sure that you do have enough water as you head outside heading into Sunday. That's when we could see a few showers and thunderstorms models, not uh, in agreement right now on the exact timing of the system moving on through. But as it makes its way into the Miami Valley, it's going to be a complex further off to the west. And as it makes its way into Ohio, we'll start to see this complex really start to weaken as we go through the morning and middle of the daytime. That's when we could see that chance of some showers, thunderstorms as we head into your Sunday. And talking about those dew points, they will be in the mid 60s here as we go to your Saturday. So a bit humid outside. And then as we head into Sunday, those dew points do rise up into the 70s. So it is going to be hot and humid here as we go into your Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday as well before that cold front does move on through the area. 70 degrees here as we go through the overnight hours. We could see a storm early, but again, 9 o'clock is the time we're looking at to see those start to uh, disappear and start to dry on out. Mostly clear skies here going through the nighttime. Mostly sunny. We'll have times of partly cloudy skies in some areas tomorrow. 91 degrees will be your high, hot, and a bit humid dew points in the mid 60s. Winds not too bad at three to six miles per hour. And I told you about that stretch of hot and humid conditions. Monday is going to be the hottest day here as we go through the next seven days. We'll have dew points right around the 70s. So we could see heat indices on Monday getting close to 100 degrees, something to monitor here, and you do want to stay hydrated as we go through those uh, 90 degree days and then cooler for the second half of the week.